And these are all AI voices and are strictly for entertainment purposes. If you think I'm playing a video game to push political views of my own, then I really need to reevaluate my life. Now, viewer discretion is advised. Thank you for watching and uh... It's about damn time! Finally, some golf, like actual golf! Guess I was wrong. Maybe people actually do really like the PGA series? Well, they did until we brought a commentator on board. Well, maybe if I actually served a purpose and got to play, they would enjoy my... Oh, so you're admitting your commentating serves no actual purpose. Awesome. Donald. So why don't you just sit there quietly like a good boy and we can all be on our way to a Trump Masterclass performance. Donald, Ben is a part of the series and will remain a valuable member of our squad. All right, fine, Ben. You can clap, but only golf claps. Uh, actually, no, only clapping with two fingers on your palm. I don't know what the hell it's called. Two finger clap. Nope, wrong, shut up. Well, what the hell is the point of me being here if I can only clap? Great fucking question. Why are you here in the first place? This will be fun. What are we doing? Croquet? Yes. Donald, would you like to pick the course for this episode? Absolutely. Why does he get to pick? Oh my God. Because Ben, he's the only one that wants to play this. Hold up, that's a load of baloney. I've been wanting to play this. Oh, all right, never mind then. Would you like to pick, George? Um, you can't do that, you already said I could pick. Yeah, leave it to Donnie. Last thing I need is to hear him bitch about whatever course I pick and how it's my fault he's ass on it. True. Hey, at least I get to play. Also, I'm picking Lighthouse Point. Hmm, I don't know. It says it's at sea level, though. I'm no aquamarinius, but pretty sure it's quite difficult to hit a golf ball on the water, guys. You're no what? Joe, we, we don't actually hit the ball on the water. I'm pretty certain the course is up on that cliff. Well, that cliff looks well above sea level. And sea level means sea level. Am I right? He's got a point, Obominator. Or hear me out. You could shut the fuck up. Okay, so Lighthouse Point, and can you tell me the holes and their par? It's on the screen. Yeah, but I need to enter it on the scorecard so I can transfer it to the scorecard we show on screen. Got to make everything so difficult. Hole 4, hole 13, and hole 16. In that order. No, I was thinking we could randomize it just to make your job even more difficult. Damn it, Donald. Would you stop being a smartass so we can play? You mean so we can play, you know, because you can't. No, yeah, we better get going. Joe is starting to doze off. What? No, I'm not. Pars are four, five, and three, and yes, in that order. All right. Got it. All right. Same lineup as last time. Me, George, Joe, then Donald. Uh, what about Ben? Oh, that's right. He can't play. Asshole. Good afternoon, fans. After quite the hiatus, the presidents are finally back with oh, some- Oh, Barry, can I please go in the lighthouse? Please, please, please. What? No. You can't actually go in there, Joe. It's not a free roam game. Oh. If you're good, Daddy Barry will take you up there. Really? That's what he said. No, it isn't. I'm calling two over par. Barry's hitting a hole in one. Not with the characters he made us play as, he ain't. Well, you're supposed to upgrade your character's attributes when you level up. Have you all been doing that? Beautiful swing from Barack Obama for his first drive. No, you haven't even given us the chance to. My name is Donald and my balls haven't dropped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not very nice to make fun of people, Joe. That's pretty fucking grand coming from you. Oh, no. Speaking of uh, attributes, may want to upgrade your accuracy. He did. He has the uh, spectator magnet perk. Oh, wow. You unlocked that one already, Barry. This dude's making fun of my voice. The balls, or lack thereof. I'm sure I've asked this before, but why do I feel as though you all banter during my turn and only Ooh. on my turn? Uh, practically just skipped over the hole. Tough luck for Obama. Because you suck. I mean, you aren't wrong, but exactly. So could you guys maybe tone it down at least until the end of my turn? Well, of course we could, but what would be the fun of that? I don't know. What the hell is the fun of bickering at each other? Well, I don't know what you expected by throwing four politicians and a wannabe in a room together. Ha 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 ha, Ben, he called you a wallaby. Also, George, Barry was only one over par, not two, so you owe me 20 bucks. I don't recall agreeing to such terms let alone you even making a counter bet. Now watch this drive. No, you owe me 20 bucks. I owe 33 trillion, but you don't see me making a fuss about it. Yeah, because everyone but you are making a fuss about it. To be fair, the country owes 33 trillion, not necessarily you, Joe. Oh, I thought it was me. Well, that's a relief. Well, you're the reason it skyrocketed even more. Technically, all of us on both parties haven't really helped the situation, Ben. Majority of the, Costs or military spending, too. So, 
like FDR in the Second World War, George Bush and- Oh, that's okay. You can just uh, stop right there. No, I don't think he should. Fail. We should probably stop talking about this. Political discussions are just too much of a slippery slope. Not as slippery as this green. Holy mackerel. George, very vocal about Donald's choice, of course. Ben, very vocal and pissy about literally anything. The hell? No, this again. I'm mutating! Is Joe going from Charmander to Charmeleon? No, I'm going straight to Charizard. Bro, look at his swing input. How in the world does he get that animation from that kind of awful analog stick control? Same reason he's still up in the polls despite the debt he put us in. But Barry said it wasn't my fault. Can we not do this? Because I really don't know much about this uh, topic and I'm not trying to do research, so we all have uh -oh. somewhat accurate dialogue. Uh, I think the only thing that needs accuracy here is all of your swings. Well, can't wait to see how you fare on here. Sounds like a challenge and possibly a rivalry is brewing between the two Republicans. Ben, buddy, Donald has a rivalry with everybody. You could share his exact same political views and he'd still tell you to piss off. I mean, just ask my brother. Your brother's a fucking idiot. Dude had to tell people to clap for him. Yeah, it was definitely, uh, uh, he did not live up to the family legacy. Oh, and you did? Boys. George, you and Joe are literally at the same IQ level. I thought we were talking about Jeb. He may be smarter than all of you, and that's saying something. Why are we talking about Jeb? Because Donald can't let go of the past. You sure as hell haven't been able to either. <laughs> you know, I've heard your little slip up when comparing the invasion of- Donald. Uh oh, Donald is boiling the pot. It's stirring the pot. Well, you gotta boil it before you stir it, Boomer. Oh, Joe, don't you worry. I'll get to you if uh, you're still awake by the time I'm done with George. All right, that's enough. I have had it with all of you constantly putting each other down. So you know what? Hold up, it's my turn. No, screw your turn. Tensions rising down at the T. See, now the tensions are rising. Told you guys we shouldn't have played at sea level. All right, what is your therapeutic way of handling this, Barry? You are all going to say one nice thing about each other. Yeah, fuck that. Can we phone a friend? No. What about asking the audience? No, we're going to go around the room and each one of you will say something nice about the other. And there is to be no bullshit. Y'all see, I hit the green. In fact, Donald can start. All right, I think I am the greatest president to ever- No, not about yourself, about the others. Uh, uh, whatever happened to, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. When has that ever stopped you? Facts. Fine, uh, Barry, I think you were very professional during the transfer of power to me. Hmm. Must have been nice. Joe, shush. By the way, look who's now in front. Thank you, Donald. That was very kind. Yeah, whatever. Your turn. Uh, no, now you have to... As we now move on to the second hole, Donald stands alone at the top of the score. Hey, Ben, could you... Thanks. Donald, now you have to say something nice about someone else. Oh, so, uh, what uh... the hell I do? We'll be here all day. Joe only has so much energy left in the tank. Low energy, Joe. Don't be trying to push your brother's nickname on me, fam. Donald, whenever you're ready. All right, well, I won't be for quite some time. All right, Ben, you want to play for Donald? What, really? Oh my God, fine. All right, uh, Joe? Yeah. No matter how many times you fall down, I admire your ability to pick yourself back up. Even though usually someone else helps you get up, you still do get up. What are we talking about? Not sure if that was a dig, but I guess I'll allow it. Uh, and George, uh, actually, I got to brainstorm one for you. That may take a bit. But Ben, despite you sounding like Caillou, possibly worse, I think you're a very good debater. I think the insult kind of cancels out the compliment, but thanks, I guess. And last, but certainly least, we got George W. Bush. It's W. Um, hold on a sec. Positive things George W. Bush did during his presidency. Really? Uh, here we go. Oh, okay, this is actually a good one. The No Child Left Behind Act. Damn it. Sorry, referring to my shot. That was a good one, but that's all I got. I'll take it. Thanks, Donnie. Good on you, George. Uh, because when the poor kids are just as bright and just as talented. Stop, as stop, stop. Anyway, back to the game now. Nope. You need to go too, George. Can I just pick one? I'll even let you pick who it is. Pull a name out, a hat for all I care. No. Whatever. You can start with me, George. All right. Uh, I actually think you're a pretty cool cat. Can be annoying as shit, but you seem very smart with wh whatever it is you do and talk about. Can't really keep up, though, because you talk too fast for me. 
right? He's always talking about hippopotamuses and crap. Hippopotamuses. You mean my hypotheticals? God, no, please. I was just asking for clarification. Relax. Donald, even though you don't seem too fond of me and are a dick towards my family, I want to thank you for attempting to toughen up, Jeb. Poor guy just had no chance. Yeah, I wasn't trying Hot to- Hot diggity dog. Oh, wow, what a shot from George. That sounded a bit sarcastic to me. Wow, hippopotamuses and sarcastic, Joe? Really expanding your vocabulary today, aren't you? Barry, I uh, always appreciate your hospitality. Oh, that's not- uh... Uh, When you host these gaming sessions. Well, we're all honored to have you join us. The hell was that shot? Technically, Joe hosts them since we are in the Oval Office, but he still doesn't know how to send a text. Seems like he doesn't know how to drive either. Well, the Secret Service doesn't allow me to, so I forgot. Think he meant drive a golf ball, dumbass. Oh, you want some help, Joe? Want to watch this drive? No, my finger just slipped. Yeah, what happens when your finger just slips when you press that big button under your desk, huh? What happens then? Oh, ice cream comes. Oh shit, really? All right, think I got everyone. Oh, wait, Joe, uh, you're pretty helpless. I almost feel bad, but not quite. Actually, I don't, but yeah. That wasn't a compliment. Yeah, but it identifies as one. I, uh, okay. Can I go next, Barry? No, I wanted to go next. Uh, fine. All right, let me think for a bit. All right, well, you think, and let's have Ben go while you're thinking. Don't think too hard, Joe, might poop yourself. That was one time, and it was because I took a laxative. Don't worry, I'll keep mine short and sweet. Doubtful. Okay, Donald, you are in the B tier. George, C tier. Barry and Joe, uh, sorry, but uh, F tier. Ben, those weren't compliments. Those were obviously just your tier list rankings of us from your video. Yeah, but I updated it with Joe. Ben, you put me and Joe in the bottom tier. How is that supposed to make us feel good about ourselves? And B tier, that sure better be the top tier. No, S is. So you put me in the second tier? No, actually the third. It's S, then A, then B, then C, then F. S does not come before A and straight from C to F. Dumbass doesn't even know the alphabet. Yeah, Ben, that's a shit tier list. I don't even want to know where everyone else is ranked. Probably use the Babylon B as his source to rank us. Actually, everything is straight up facts. So you use the worst factual things you could find on us to rank us? Facts don't care about your feelings. Oh, he said the thing. Am I the only one happy about my placement on Ben's list? I mean, huh? I thought he was going to rip me to shreds. The fact you are one tier underneath me, George, makes this list moot. And Joe and I in the bottom tier. Who else is in our tier? Uh, let's see, uh, Richard Nixon? Lyndon. Bro. <laughs> Imagine being up to par with Dick Nixon. Yeah, I'm disgusted. I'm done with this whole thing. All right, my turn. I'll start with George. No, we're done, Joe. But I literally... Ah, uh, damn it, Ben. It all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. The third hole. Ah, uh, that's what she said. Barry, what I like about you is that... Joe, I already said we're done. But I didn't even get to... Uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, you need me to call you a wambulance? Yeah, for your mom. Or even as the, oh, okay, Jesus. That's quite a fall. All right, well, uh, bombs away. Man, didn't even know your own strength. Man, you weren't kidding when you said bombs away. There were almost some casualties on that. Wouldn't be his first occasion. Sure as shit wouldn't be yours either. So happy we, we did that segment earlier to talk nice about each other. Yeah, I didn't even get to go, thanks to Ben. You're just mad you were in my bottom tier. Well, when it comes to my tier list of podcasters, you aren't even on it at all. Probably because you don't even know what a podcast is. Uh, actually, I do. It's when you cast your iPod to your TV. Oh, man, iPods. Talk about a blast from the past. Uh, hey, remember that one guy that made Donald and Hillary say one nice thing about each other? Oh, when she completely avoided me and complimented my kids instead? Sorry, but Barry, what in the hell? Nope, no one saw that. I don't see what's wrong with her complimenting your kids, though. Because we were asked to say something nice about us, not our family. But your kids are a part of you, no? Uh, no, I'm all about me, Sleepy Joe. Glad no one was paying attention to my display, because I sure as hell lost. All right, Obaminator, let me show you the proper way to strike. Now watch this piss missile of a drive. That's definitely going to be fatal. Yeah, for the squirrels. Oh, no, look out. Hopefully PETA did not see that swing from George. If I remember the scorecard correctly, I think George and Donnie are the only ones with a chance to win. Ah, uh, you've misunderestimated me. Uh, I actually thrive when I'm not able to see the damn hole. He missed what? Too big of a word for you, Ben. Read a fucking dictionary. 
Well, tell me when you get through yours and find misunderestimated in there. Just Google it, Hotshot. You'll find it. I'll do it for you, Ben. Don't worry. I know you're too busy playing this game right now. Got jokes, huh? Hey, Barry, uh, which app is Google? The one with the G. Okay, and how do you, uh, how you spell mis, uh, mis- Oh my God, uh, just give me the phone. Oh, look, right here. Misunderestimate is a mala. I don't know that word, but something invented by George. Oh, never mind. He made up the whole thing. Boom, told you. So yeah, let me know when you nitwits get a word you make up in the dictionary. George, it isn't in the dictionary. All right, well, unless of an abomination from Joe and Donald, does not look likely that George can win. You're all clearly just stupid because you're all using the wrong club. Oh, yeah? What club should I use then, Joe? Please humor me. Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? This ace. An absolute moonshot. Will it ever come down? Have you been humored, Donald? Uh... Yes, very much. Appreciate the tip, Joe. Hold on, where's the hole? Did I do good? What's the game plan here, Joe? A hole in one. But it's your second shot. No, my last shot was my tee off. It's like a kickoff in football. It's not actually the first play of the game. A kickoff is the first play of the game. Is it though? Because 99% of the time we just watch it sail through the end zone. I don't even know why it still exists, to be honest. Honestly, Donald, mad facts. Like, just start the game at the 20 or 25 at this point. Uh, all right, Joe, since we are uh, apparently playing football, now it's fourth down. You want to punt it or go for it on fourth. Remember, if you miss, Donald gets the ball right there. Oh, crap. Good call, George. I, I should probably play it safe. Well, what? Joe, no. He was just... Huh. Good luck scoring from there, Donnie. Oh. Why is it still my turn? Ooh, hello there. And how old are you? Again, Joe, too old for you. Too old? Jeez, Joe. Any reason you just drilled that poor woman? Uh, well, that was the whole thing. I don't think he wanted to drill. Enough. So, Donald, because of how trash everyone else was, you could get a bogey and still win. We're a double bogey and tied George. Yeah, cool story. Gonna take Joe's advice, you'd not be a complete idiot and use the six iron. That ain't gonna reach. You wanna bet? Gonna be a close bet. Didn't reach. Oh, okay, well, at least I didn't kill a spectator like all of you did. To be fair, Joe was the only one that did. No, I didn't. I just knocked the wind out of her. And I was trying to hit the guy behind her. She looked creeped out by him. Now you know how every father feels by your presence around their child. Ha ha ha. Shut up, George. Well, boys, it's been fun. Thanks for the easiest victory I've ever had since 2016. You mean when the Electoral College bailed you out? Hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. I'll remember that next time you yell at me about 2020. Yeah, and I hated the game you played. What game? I didn't even play it. I don't want to hear it. Good game, losers. See y'all next weekend, same time, for a PGA Tour rematch. We are not playing PGA back-to-back -back weeks, but we are going to do something next weekend. Maybe something fun and holiday-themed, since... It will be our last episode before Christmas. Yeah, and comment down below what game we should all play. Oh, thanks for reminding me, Ben. Also comment if Ben should be in it or someone else. What? I'm sure Ben will be in it, or George. Actually, I don't know. What the hell, guys? Just hit me up, Barry O. I'm available next weekend. Yeah, we know you are, George. You don't do anything. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. We hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a happy- I don't know. Save that for next weekend, Joe. Got one more week to go. Someone hasn't been keeping up with his advent calendar. All right, I may have skipped ahead a bit for some extra chocolate pieces. All right, well, thanks for watching, fellas. Uh, hope y'all uh, smash that like button and subscribe. Did you guys know that when you say those things, the button glows? Really? Smash that like button! Did it work? I, I don't know, Joe. We won't know until we upload it. Well, that's a bunch of malarkey. Buy some Bibby Watt merch, by the way, fam. Sell out.